It is the intention of the government to not just disrupt, but to totally undermine and uproot the criminal gangs and the networks that they have formed. Not just to address the street level criminals, but to address those who facilitate, support, and give succor to the street level criminals. We should never believe that the street level criminals operate on their own. They are financed, they use our banking network, they are well connected, they use our telecommunications infrastructure. They have good transportation, they use our roads, they buy our cars, and they use them in the commission of crimes. It took us 40 years to get here. It is not going to change overnight. But the message is that the government will be persistent, determined, and instrumental in its actions. We ask for the understanding of our international partners in this regard. After all, this is what they have been asking us to do in taking charge of this problem. Jamaica is the center of the Caribbean. We are the center of culture, arts, lifestyle, entertainment, innovation. We will become the center of economic activity, growth, and prosperity. God bless you. Right now you know we are unstoppable. Unstoppable, that means we can't stop you. No, unstoppable, no, no, we are trained. Welcome on again, Unstoppable family. So people, Jamaica is scattered everywhere in the world. In every single country you can think of in the world, there is a Jamaican there. In the coolest country, in the hottest country, Jamaican is just there everywhere. And some of them don't make up their mind, say, yo, yeah, yeah, me, me, now nah, go back at Jamaica, me done with Jamaica. Not even for a visit, not for go set up no investment, and definitely not for go retire. And it's not that them not love Jamaica, you know. No, it's just that the rate of crime and the way the country are run, them not feel comfortable, them not feel safe. So them rather say, yo, yeah, yeah, me, me love my life, so me stay right here. So in other country, yeah, when me there, when me feel like, say, me can walk the road, without getting a bullet in my head. You understand? I just that it is. No, you have no found way my reason with. Yeah, uno see him on as the fans where reach out to me and say, boy, and several you know say me have a solution, me have an idea we can go towards the crime problem. I will reason with it, me share my ideas, uno share phone ideas. But you know what me I wonder if Uno oh can reach out and say unstoppable, you know some feel like this can work, that can work. Why is it the people who actually have the power to change it? can't come up with no ideas or is it that them can come up with ideas but them no want to change it what do you think when they even look at jamaican carlos the video when we post yesterday jamaican carlos talks how much i want to reach out to him and I share ideas as well so that simply mean regular jamaicans can come up with ideas to solve crime or at least quench it little bit but the people them who in a power and can do something about it, nah, do nothing. What does that say? Now, that brings me to the question when I have to ask. Should we as Jamaicans, as citizens of Jamaica, allow criminals to run we out of the country and make we decide so we nah go back? Or should we put on our foot and say, yo, you hear me? We are take back the country from the corruption. We are take back with country from the criminals because of that we born land. Is that what we should be saying? Instead of, no, me not go back a yard. Think about it, people. Now, you see that video you right here, so we may go make you see right now. It's not a new video, you know. It's a video that was posted from last year. See? But people, guess what go on now? Everything where the man said in the video last year still relevant to what I go on right now. So that just goes to show us that nothing at all, no change. People, take a listen to what the general has said. See, you're holding our vibes, you know. But what's we constantly been on my mind is the situation in Jamaica, in the world, but in Jamaica especially, because yeah, that's where I'm from. Jamaican, red-blooded, through and through, you know. And, um... Can't stop, can't stop thinking about Jamaica, you know what I mean? I'm in the UK now still and 
every, every decision, every move I make is with the intention of settling back in Jamaica, you know. But I'm in Jamaica on a regular. Yeah, it's been a couple of years now since I've been back, but I'm in Jamaica on a regular. Yeah, so I started writing a new track. And I've um, sussed out the beat for it and everything already, you know what I mean? But I started to share a little bit of it, of it with you guys, because you know what? Jamaica will get loose and slack and no love, no love, no love. Me can't understand what I go on. Remember back in the day when it was, you know, you this one, grow this one, so on. You, you know, it was a matter of, you know, everybody respected everybody. And especially when you come from a small community, everybody knew each other in the community and things like that. And, yeah, people just have to have manners. To, to, to the elders, you know, we just have to respect the elders and have manners. Nowadays, it's like the place has become so loose that not even the parents can control the own kids. You know what I mean? And I blame it on low resistance and 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 all of them things still. Cause if you have a youth, you must can control the youth and talk to you. But you have to teach you them from them young. True. Say manners and respect. You know, cause my auntie my youth them straight. Manners and respect. Yeah, me not, me not, me not, me not let that go. No matter how small it is, me not let it go. Yeah, manners and respect. You know, that's how I was brought up and that's how I teach my youth them. You know what I mean? And I have a feeling that if more of us had maintained certain standards that we were taught when we were growing up, things we would be in a better place. You know what I mean? So here, yeah, this is it. My heart cries out to Jamaica. I have seen a town for the worst in the cities. It is the worst that I've seen in our history. We have lost all love for humanity. Mm. Sweet Jamaica. Back in the day, it was you and I. No, instead of love, it seems the guns are in more supply. Jeez. We can resolve our problems through conversations. It doesn't have to end in violence for all situation. Yeah, Jamaica, we need to stop and check, man, and you know, we need to stop and check on. Get the thing back in order, cause Jamaica land we love. But you know how small our country is in comparison to what's out there in the world, in, in comparison to the little that I have seen. And everywhere you go and you say, yo, I'm from Jamaica. They're like, oh, Bob Marley, or oh, you Usain Bolt. Or, and I say to them all the time, there, yeah, there's that, but there's a lot more to Jamaica. You know what I mean? So you lot need to go down and experience it firsthand. You know what I mean? I always say to them, don't let anyone tell you about Jamaica. You need to experience it for yourself. You know what I mean? And yeah, I'm hoping that I've managed to convince a few people to visit our beautiful island. But here, we are. the killing of a stop, man, too much, too much, too much. Every day, men killing women. Brothers killing sisters, sisters killing brothers. Come on, man. I don't want to hear about no end of time. You understand? We were a Christian-like nation. What's gone wrong? We need to fix up Jamaica. Yeah? Now, I'm an artist. Yeah? A budding artist. And I'm going, I'm, I'm going to be doing some tracks, and I'm, I'm pretty soon you'll be hearing them. You know what I mean? And all of that with Jamaica in mind. Yeah? Big up Jamaica every time. Every time, big up Jamaica. So the thing's set. <laughs> yeah? Peace and love. All right? Oh, one more thing. May I try to reach out to the artists, them who are big up themselves. And I said, them are artists and them are represent. You guys need to start representing the youths of tomorrow because they are the future. You understand? Start teaching them the right things. Here we are. A lot of people can take this personal. But my lord, and my goddesses, if you have bleach out your skin, that is not a good role model. 
You understand? You not teach you them to love themselves. The man must love themselves, Aya. Yeah? Black I am and black I shall remain. Look at me. Black I am and black I shall remain. The only thing we have changed color on my beard. Gray here. You see? Mm. Now, I'm going to try to put out a positive message. So, I don't want to get offended by it. But if you get offended, that's sort of thing said. But we have to teach you, them we have to teach you, them the, the true fundamentals of growing up and growing a nation, and that is to love thyself first, and then we can love everyone else. You understand? Have some self respect, have some self motivation. You understand? There's a lot to be said and a lot to be done in Jamaica, and we are trying to be ambassadors of Jamaica, even when we are not there. You understand? Jamaica, me love it, me love it bad. That's why me always go back to Jamaica. And when a man I talk about, me enough guy I talk about them now return to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I know I said peace, but boy, my story long, you know. Mm -hmm. You know enough guy I said them now go back to Jamaica. Right? And me don't know what that, unless you're a fugitive, I am. But I, man, Jamaica, straight. Yeah, man. Every year, man. Ah, well, almost every year now. <laughs> yeah? I'm in Jamaica. Enjoying myself, seeing our beautiful island. Yeah? Yeah, man. I am I never try to hurt her, but Jamaica, we always head back to Jamaica. That's how it is. Yeah? Blessed love, peace, manners. You know what I want to do for me right now? I want every single one on where I listen to that video here right now. For drop a comment in the comment section and tell me what ideas you have. Where you feel like could have really, you know, kind of quenched down crime a little bit at Jamaica. Would I love for you to share your idea down in the comment section. What do you think that could be put in place? And yeah, me know some of you say, boy, and some of me hear you ask this question multiple times. But you don't know. Me just want to hear the ideas. And then again, nobody feel like, say, the politician, them not come and watch them video here and read the comments. Yeah, you <laughs> the best know that. Yeah, they see a politician, them, and Joe, the opposition, and all of them, Come watch them very same videos here and go in at the comment section for read where who know the people have to say. Because remember, you know, I always say this. You see, the comment section is where you can get the most information. So believe me, them read it. So more I want to leave on the comment down in the comment section. Maybe one of you can comment something where one of the politicians them can see and say, all right, then this makes sense. Let me put it in a house of parliament in a one of them meeting there and suggest it. See it? Watch ya. This has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment, and definitely if this is your first time and you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please consider hitting the subscribe button now. Turn on all notifications. Once we upload a video, you will get notified. No matter what, don't let nobody stop you. I'm unstoppable. I'm out. Right now, you know we're unstoppable. Unstoppable.